the rare trip I do get back here to Charlottesville is always magical, just a flood of positive memories. And you know, when you add some former teammates to it, uh, it's even better just because you know, we actually relish times like these where it's you know, sort of mental toughness time, conditioning time, and a lot of introduce us to ourselves and kind of put the template for uh, you know, making us the men that we are. These practices are very similar to when, when Jim Moore took over in Atlanta and they took over in Seattle my final year. And you know, he, he always talked about you know, if, if there's the Army and the Navy, then there's the, the Rangers and the SEALs. And while the guys that are in the, all the armed services are incredibly tough men, there's yet another level. And you know, just like all the guys in the NFL are tough guys, there's another level. And I think Coach Mendenhall is doing a similar deal here where uh, you know, he's introducing these guys to another level that they can draw for themselves. And I expect that to show up uh, you know, in the winning column on, on Saturday. We'll see come game day what the changes really are, but in terms of a culture, there seems to be a really clear communication uh, in terms of standards to play championship level football and being clearly communicated to guys. And uh, at that point, it's up to the players to, to want it or not. You know, Virginia football to me is my launch pad into a life that uh, I never dreamed possible and will always be indebted to the program for that. Uh, you know, as a former walk on, uh, you know, the fact that I was given a chance to pass up guys who they had invested in recruiting spots in. Moving forward, it's, you know, it's a point of pride that I now have four children. And, uh, it's a program I want them to be proud of and know that their father was a, an integral part of and you know, hope they'll don the orange and blue uh, with the same pride I do.